Hey, welcome back, and thank you for hanging in with me on uh, Brain Candy uh, Retro Gaming. So we're we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna take on the last of the easy guys, and that is uh, Flashman. Now his weakness is Atomic Fire, and I mean it doesn't really make a huge difference. He used to be the first guy I would go to in Mega Man 2 to beat him because he was he was a chump. Like that's the ow. That's the best way to say it. He was a chump. But his even though even though he's a chump, um Nah, he's just chump. Like there's there's no nice way to say that. He he was a he was a pushover. His ability... His ability is probably one of the coolest in the game. It stops time. Which, I'm not even sure how a robot would do that. I don't know what science that is. But whatever science that is, um... That's some cool, wicked science. <laughs> but the reason why I didn't choose him first during this playthrough... Honestly, is because... There's so much good secret stuff, and unlike Mega Man 1, where you can just simply go back in stages once they've completed, you can't do that in Mega Man 2. They don't reintroduce that again until Mega Man 3, so you kind of have to... There kind of is a, um... What's a word? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna leave you be. Uh, there there's there's a um, strategy to stage selection and what stages you should you should do first. Uh... Knowing my luck, I'm gonna fail this jump. Oh man! Oh no! No 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 no! Ow! And, uh, Flashman's level reminds me more of, like, the old-fashioned Mega Man 1. Ow. Levels. <laughs> old-fashioned. This game's just as old-fashioned. Um. You know what? Yeah, I feel cheap today. I don't feel like jumping those slippery blocks. But I do feel like getting this E-Tank. And using this crash bomb. But I don't feel like fighting the boss. <laughs> I don't feel like it at all. I'm probably gonna make the worst mistake ever and farm. Right. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, hit him. Oh, hit him. Haha. -ha. Ooh, and that's exactly what I need, but knowing my luck, he's not going to give it to me very easily. Nope. Why can't I just stay still? Ah. Uh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're going to get through this. I mean, Flashman isn't that hard. I think I could take, like, one or two hits from him. I think. Alright, chump man. I can take one hit. I can take one hit. Oh, no. Oh, blasted into oblivion. Okay. Wow, I feel bad. The icebox of shame. You know what? Just to show you how little difference it really does make. Bang. And even when you charge it up... And, and by the way, this that's legitimately supposed to be his weakness. I find that the plasma, ow, shooter... ...does way more damage. For whatever reason, from all my trash talking, um, he 
he is wrecking my soul. Okay. It's because, you know what? The game saw that I had too, too many lives. The, the game was just like, you know what? We need to knock it down 20 pegs. Because that that's a thing. That is a thing that happens. Now. Ooh. Optimal range away from you. I can't believe I'm getting wrecked by this guy right now. Like, I really, really can't. Well, if you think this wrecking is horrible, wait until the next episode when, uh... Boomerang Kwanger beats me to death. And no! <laughs> it's because I called him Boomerang Kwanger. Hey, look, get equipped with Time Stopper. What? That's not enough for you, Mega Man. Well, that's okay, because Dr. Light has item 3. Yeah, item 3. Because, yeah, sequential orders are awesome. I wonder if there is a pattern that you can get item 1, 2, and 3 in sequential order. Huh. That means traversing... Hmm... Eh, we'll ponder that later. Alright, everyone. Bye. See you on next episode.